All right, well, I'm going to make this quick. Ladies, come on to get the Volkswagen 2008 Jetta. Anyway, this is a MAP sensor swap. Basically, they get oily and grimy. I did clean this up to kind of show you. Actually, now I got two of these guys. One was jacked up. But here it is, the new guy, what they should look like for this car. Now, the one prior was damaged, so basically, I got to do. This is right behind the throttle body. I'll show you. I cleaned the throttle body. Now, believe it or not, you do not have to take it in and do the relearn. That's kind of a myth. It's actually driving quite well. I'm having a problem with my computer reading, though, all of a sudden. Uh, I got to look behind there. Something's come loose, but either way, light's staying off. I was able to get that situated, so... Volkswagen Jetta. Um, this is the part number, 2008. Um, this is from my import specialist, Bab Gion. Give you the shout out for once. Not always, but this time you get Bab Gion import auto. Dang it going. So I'm trying to do too many things at once. All right, anyway, so S1600. It's a Bosch 2008 Jetta. S1600 HO2. Make sure you verify all that. Bosch 16334566. I'm not sure. Like I said, there's some variations. Bosch sensor. This is what it looks like. This basically is your manifold absolute pressure sensor. So it pretty much controls almost everything for that car, especially on the turbos. A couple hacks in here. I think they're, uh, I can't remember. 35, 40s, but you know I mean? Triple, I think it was triple score hex in that one. Either way, Allen key sometimes will work, or you can just try the star bits. I think I used a T, I want to say a T29 to get the carburetor off. I'll show you real quick. It's all back together, cleaned up, looking pretty. So I like to try to, you know, it's just, you know, I always make it look nice when you get done, you know? Did the coolant, uh, that was kind of a pain. There's a down and bend down underneath this too. So you pop this off, bolt here, one, so I get my little pointer out. Got uh, one here. Can't really see it, but right there. I think it's a T29. Or a funky little triple hex square bit. And there is a funny bolt. Now there's one there. Okay. And basically, if you continue on, you got the rest of them. You'll be able to find those. You got one, two on the bottom two corners. Okay. So you unclip it right here. You want to push that in and pull out. Do not break that tab. I don't suggest doing too much. Tell you what, I wish I could show you. I already put it back together. But let me go over the quick process. I don't know why these are here. They shouldn't be. Basically, this should flip back. This literally pops right off, okay? That goes to the side. You got clamp here. Always try to leave them up. Be generous of your next mechanic, please. <laughs> but people say, oh, you got to have, you know, channel, snap lock pliers. They don't. You just need a basic pair of channel locks. Grab onto this guy. Boom, boom. Comes off. Go ahead and clear, clean your MAP once you pull this entire cover off, okay? There's one here. One here tab, one here, one here tab. Okay, this thing feels like it's on like freaking super glue. I'm not kidding, but it will come off, but be gentle. <laughs> Looks like it may separate in the back. This is one of the funniest parts about this job. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out if this came off properly. But I will say it does come off. You just have to uh, keep messing with it. I want to make sure she's tight back there. Because uh, they do have these tabs in the back. Make sure we're not sucking it anywhere we shouldn't be. There are these little tabs. I think you can actually open it up probably and clean it, but it's a crazy setup ever in my life. It took me a good minute to make sure I wasn't breaking stuff trying to get this. Look, the lost. It took me a good minute to make sure I wasn't breaking anything to get this off. So if you have a Jetta, you're a do it yourself one. You know, I haven't, worked, I haven't worked on one. <laughs> this didn't look this good until I got a hold of it, by the way. But uh, So anyway. Tab here, tab here, tab here, tab here. You can literally pry them off. I would start here, maybe. Uh, if you can't get a little PB blaster in, there's one tab. Let me show you. Right here. A little PB blaster in there. It can't hurt. But I'm telling you, you got to fight this thing. They do not want to come off. And I always grease them when I take them off to help the next mechanic. You're welcome. You know, the one there. You got one here, same design. Now clean all this stuff when you're in there. Get all the crap out. That's what I did. But basically, I cleaned out the auto body. I was able to hold it open, you know, get up in there, hold it open, <laughs> make sure the battery's unplugged, all that good stuff, okay? Hold that battery, hold that auto body open with something soft, like a piece of, uh, I used the back end of mine to see my really nice, uh, 
I think they're Milwaukee uh, pliers. I just was able to hold it up and then gently go in there and clean it all real good with throttle body cleaner. Don't be forcing on it. Don't be letting it fall back and forth and smack. <laughs> so dangerous if you do that. I'm just telling you, don't do it. Um, and then I went back through after I used all that cleaner and used my MAF to do the final cleaning on it, of course. <laughs> Mass air flow cleaner or a type of electrical cleaner. Clean this good. Electrical cleaner, let it drip out. I got a whole bunch of mess out of here. It was bad, bad, dirty. Um, sensor's right behind it. It's literally one wiring harness for the MAP sensor behind here. That's why you got to take this off. You may want to replace the gasket. If not, use some mineral oil, lube it up. Good to go. Right down there, there's your MAF. Right there, I believe this, sir. Let me see. That is, yep, that's her. You maybe to get to it, I don't know, without taking that center off, but I just don't know. It's so damn tight. <laughs> probably so. So you can probably clean it and still get in and not take her off. I don't know. I just had it off because it was easier to me to go ahead and pluck her off of there. Why not? <laughs> well, right there it is. So, I mean, it's not like it's the hardest thing to get to. And um, I'm assuming on this car, you may have a possibility of getting in there to it. Let's make sure that's even in. It's been a second now. <laughs> So I did this, I can't even remember. Yeah, that is it. One, like I said, T, yep, like a T21, uh, I think. But it's right there. It's just two bolts. Now, to get to that other one, you probably are going to have to take that off, I believe. See if you guys can see where I'm looking at. I doubt it, but maybe so. If you can see, so. Yeah, I got the other one down there. I don't know. It'll be tight if you don't take it off. Don't think you can do it. I think you'd have to take it off. Ah. Uh, can't hurt anyone like i said it's one gasket you need to clean it now the question was this this was tricky i didn't mess with it taking these guys off i didn't bother they're kind of a strange setup and i don't like to remove mass airflow sensors because if you do you can damage these guys so gently that's strange i don't understand the whole little nipple action going on what is it with me and nipples don't ask it don't know i don't even care for nipples but that nipple right there it's strange it's like a like a inverted nipple <laughs> Either way, though, we're looking good. Customer's probably here. And then threw it on the charger. It's aggravating. I can't get it to uh, scan anymore. But, hey, we're done. The customer's here to get it. So I'll wrap this up and call it a day. Wish you all set. All right. Take care, Facebook, and pretty simple stuff. Do you need a little bit more time working on it? No, you're all set. I was just, I'm doing, I'd always do my little videos. But, yeah, you're good to go. All right, well, you should be good to go. She should have come get it now. We're well, good. Cool in here, should be lovely. Topped it off here. Um, yeah, yeah, and the thermostat's all right behind there too. You gotta dig the water pump off to get to it technically, so here. Yeah. Plenty good. All right, check it.